Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Ignite Kids Does Sunday. Today, we're thinking about the first thing somebody did wrong. Hmm, it involves some fruit. So let's go grab our packs and have some fun. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Ignite Kids Does Sunday. I hope you've had a great half-term holiday. We at Ignite have been really, really busy getting things ready for this Friday. We're so excited. Ignite Extra will be back in the building. Uh, more about that a little bit later on. Uh, so today we are thinking about the very, very first people in the world, and you'll find it at the very, very start of the Bible. They were called Adam and Eve, and so we're going to be thinking about their story today. If you want to look it up in your Bibles, you'll find it in Genesis chapters 2 and 3. Okay, so Reds versus Blues is coming a little bit later on, and as you know, I am losing. I am on a losing streak. I am two points down. So Reds, Trev's team, they're 12, and uh, my team, Blues, uh, we're 10. I'm sure you guys are doing better than me, so tune in a little bit later on, and you'll find out who wins this week's. But first, we are going to have a song. So I need you to jump up onto your feet. And I need you to limber up, get all limber, and get ready for the song. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. And He holds us in His hands.
Well, it's great to sit down with our cup of tea, isn't it? Oh. You worked my guts off since first thing this morning, I have. You and me both. I haven't stopped from morning till now. Oh, if, if only we listened to what God said and that forbidden fruit, my goodness. That were a big mistake, Eve. Certainly was, Adam. Oh, it did taste good, though. If it weren't for that stupid snake, we'd be all right now, sitting in the garden of Eden, basking in the sun with no work to do. I know, just playing with the animals and watering the plants. Yeah, regrets. Oh, I've had a few. Mm. But then again, too few to mention. Oh, I love that garden. It was so beautiful. It was beautiful indeed. Pretty smelling flowers and pretty smelling animals as well by then. Mm. Oh, oh and now we've got the lions trying to eat other animals. We've got other animals running around the place. It's just, oh, it's the mm. world is gone to part. And then pesky mosquitoes always trying to bite you. And then to watch where you put your foot in case there's little snakes snake down there ready to bite your foot and all. No, I'm really afraid of them snakes now. I don't like them. I don't oh. trust them. I don't trust them. Oh. Well, snakes I'm a little afraid of, but I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Mm. I wish I should get snake busters on the scene. That would do it. Right, well, have you finished your coffee yet? Because I've yeah. got some washing we'll up to, to do. Yeah, I'm not touching that thing again. No, back to work. Come I'll on. Have a cup of tea then. Get back on. Oh. All right, see you later, Eve. Oh, woman's work is never done. No, that is mine. Okay, everybody, it's that time of the week again. It's reds versus blues. Now, blues, we need to have a chat, okay, because I'm in a slump, a big, big slump. Uh, so far, Trev's team, the red team, are on 12 points, and we're only on 10. Uh, we were doing so well, and now we're not. So I've really got to try my hardest to pull it back this week. So this week's game is called Wobbly Tower. So what we're gonna be doing is, we've got a bowl of water and we've got a dish sitting on top of the water. And we've got to build the highest tower we can out of, yes, you've guessed it, plastic cups uh, in 30 seconds. If your tower falls over, then it doesn't count. You have to be at the end of the 30 seconds with the tower build. So it could go any way, but I'm uh, crossing all my fingers, my eyes, my toes, and hopefully Blues will get a win this week. So let's have a go. <coughs> okay, Trev. So you've got 10 cups. I've got 10 cups. And I've got 10 cups. And you've got 10 cups. Okay, so I'm going to press start okay. and uh, we'll see what happens. Right. Okay, here we go. Ready? Ready? Steady. Go. Trev's got five. That means, come on, Blues, we've got another point. But Trev's uh, mm. still winning 12 points of 11. Have a go and see if you can do better than us. I think that might be the most you can do. I don't think you can get any more on than that. Try but one more, Jenny. Come on, see if you can do a seventh one. You've already won. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, good morning everybody. It's now time for our craft and today's is a really easy one. We're thinking about um, the Garden of Eden and we're thinking about Adam and Eve and they were tempted by a snake. So that's what we're going to make. We're going to make a snake. It's quite easy. You're going to need some coloured paper. Now I, I've cut some strips. You can see here, I've cut them into strips and uh, I've also cut a uh, a head shape for my snake and I've cut uh, a, a tongue shape there you go you can just about see it on my hand okay so uh, that's what we're going to do so let's have a go and see where we go so <clears throat> uh, you're going to need some sellotape and like I said um, some paper so I'm going to draw some eyes on my snake and then I'm going to get, <clears throat> now because I've got a red cloth here, it might be difficult for you to see. So I'm going to get the snake's tongue and I'm going to stick it to the head. That's the first thing I'm going to do. And then the head is finished. Okay, so there you go. There's the snake's head. There you go. All right, so I'm going to put that to the side there, and now I'm going to start making the snake's body. Uh, it's really, really easy. So you just make make a ring, and you put some color tape on it. Okay, and then you get another piece of paper, and you push it through the center of the ring, and you make another ring, and then you color tape that together. Okay, and then you get another piece of paper. Now you'll notice I'm using yellow and green because they show up really well. I push that through the green one, flip it over. You can use whatever colour paper you want. If you really wanted to, what you could do is have some white paper and then you could make your own design. Um, there you go. And I'm just going to do one more, but. The challenge is for you to do it really, really long. So I'll just get one more bit, like that. Stick it in my salad tape, just like that. Okay, so there it is, there's my, my chain. Okay, now I've also um, done this. I've cut one of the, the pieces of the paper, so there's a pointy bit on either end. Okay, now I'm gonna, Poke that through again, and this this is going to be the tape. And then instead of sellotaping them together, I'm going to sellotape the pointy bit so that it's still pointy. Okay, so this, okay, so it looks like that. All right, and just sellotape the other side to make sure it doesn't fall off. Now you can use glue if you want but sellotape is a lot easier. So there's my snake's body. Now, if you remember, I made a snake's head. So what I need to do is I need to <clears throat> make another ring, but this time I'm gonna stick the snake's head to it first. Okay, just to make it a little bit longer. There you go. So it just looks like a worm in the minute. Okay, and now I'm gonna put it through the other end. And now I'm gonna sellotape it, just like I have the others, so that I've got a ring. And the other side as well. Okay, so now you can see I've got my snake. There it is, my sneaky, squiggly, swirly snake. See if you can do your snake as well. If you'd like to send a picture in so that I can do a show and tell with it, just send it to the email below and I will do some show and tells next week. Um, if not, just have a go. Have a go and see if you can make a really long, sneaky snake. See you next week. 
Okay, everybody, that's it from us for today. I hope you enjoyed all of the fun today. And I won one. Yes, I'm back in the game. Uh, why don't you have a go at Red versus Blues as well and see if you can do as well or better than me. Okay, so uh, just to remind you, this coming Friday, Ignite Extra will be back in the building. But... And this is the thing you guys need to remember. Mums and dads, boys and girls, you need to book on to come. If you have not booked on, don't show up on Friday because you will not be able to come in because it's the first 15 places. That's all we've got. We've only got enough room to start off with for 15 boys and girls. So you need, if you haven't booked on already, you need to go on to Eventbrite and you need to follow this link. Okay, uh, follow the link and you will be able to book on for next Friday. Now, the bookings close on Friday itself. So you have got a few days to get it done. But remember, this is a booked event only. If you haven't booked on, then you will be sent away. I'm really, really sorry, boys and girls. Other than that, Ignite Life Group, we're on next Sunday as well. You don't have to book on for Life Group uh, because it's only a certain few people that come. I'm going to finish with a prayer. So let's wiggle our fingers. Let's wiggle. One, two, three. Lord God, we thank you for all the fun that we've had this morning. And God, I pray for all the boys and girls that as they uh, book on to come to Ignite Extra this Friday, they'll be really excited to see the team again. So bless them as they go back to school. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Don't forget to book. See you next week. Bye. <laughs>